So what happens when somebody in our family quits? It affects all of us, right? So Sadie, I want you to come up here. So what I heard today was Sadie, you wanted to quit again. So what's going on? Why are you tired of it? Why don't you like the rules? Why? Why do you think that way? Talk to me like a man.
not only a fighter and a gold medalist, he's also a lawyer, right? So staying in school was good. So he was able to connect. So we, we made some mistakes early on, but then we were able to like realize, holy cow, man, maybe there is a means to the end. Maybe there is a method to the madness. And we refocus from what was happening to me right now to where I want to go. And that's the biggest change that I've seen in you. It's not so much what's bothering me right now, but it's recognizing that the things that I struggle with today will help me get to where I want to go because it's going to build my metal, right? So that's what I want to talk about with everybody. And I want you to think back to where you were a year ago or where you were three months ago and where you are today and how you're making different decisions or how you're making the same decisions. Like it affects you the same way, right? So tell me, what are you doing differently a year ago before you got to Pritzker and how has Pritzker changed your perspective on things? Go ahead. Yeah, um, before in our school, I didn't know. Like I did do it for you in some grades, so I was like, I'd say, pretty, I didn't really, like, I was like, what is this going to do to my grades? Like, it didn't me. So I barely, like, I passed on like, Use and Z's, and I relied on my test scores mostly because they're high and I really do homework and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, so how how did you change from then and now? Because if you could boil it down into one sentence, I do my homework every day. You do your homework. Okay, really? Who else? I know you've got a lot to say. <laughs> Go on, man. Because I can, and I'll be honest, I've seen a lot of changes in just a few weeks, right? And I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of you. And you should, more than anything, you should be proud of some of the changes that I've heard you talk about. So, what are you, what are you, what are you going through? Well, where, where I was last year and now is that last year was that I, uh, I used to get like, like, uh, extra splendor every day because I did bad stuff. But, and then because of my grades. So, but now I'm like, since I came to Prisker, uh, and and, uh, and the teachers and now they're gonna teach me the different rules about it about Prisker. I have been liking it, so uh, it's like my I have been going from S to D's, from D's to C's. But I'm gonna, but I wanna change at least two C's to B's. So, cause uh, my my parents used to get mad at me all the time. Mm -hmm. Like they used to, like yeah. And then now I want them to be proud of me. Like, be proud of my, like, be proud of them, like, to have a son that uh, is focused on his, his work, like, not yeah. going to get distracted. Okay. That's awesome. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead, you're next. Um, I used to be the kid, like, saving that always be getting in trouble for no reason, be getting mad for any little thing. Jonathan knows that for sure. He's seen me do it. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've cursed out teachers before, without even caring. Was this in middle school? Yeah. Okay. So, um, during the summer, I did a lot of thinking. Because I knew, I knew I was coming to Pritzker already, so. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of thinking over the summer, and like I had a life-changing moment with my grandfather, because he passed away in my arms. So from that moment on, I decided, like, I had to stop being a little kid, I had to grow up. Mm -hmm. So that moment when I said to myself, I have to grow up, I started to be serious, I, I stopped playing around. Even my dad's noticed it, but he's seen my grades, that they're different, and he showed me that um, some things in life I have to do for myself, because the way my dad raised me, he's put me to do things that I'm usually not, like, at a young age, he put me to do things that high schoolers should do. Because right now at home he has me reading like college books, so I, I have to I have to do what he tells me or I, I just put myself because right now he's not, he's at work so when I get home I have to do what I have to do so I can get to college and get the job that I want. My math teacher, she failed me in math. So I had to go to some school, right? So I had another teacher in some school. I don't know, it's hard to believe because it's okay, but okay, well, um. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she failed me, and then um, I passed summer school early um, for math. And then, um, well, 
yeah, I changed it, it compared my grade from last year to this grade. Right now, I have straight A's. Wow. Um, big difference. So we have talked in the past about what it takes to make those life changes that every one of you guys are, are saying that you've gone through from last year to this year, from three months ago to now. We talked about those little steps, and it's just little baby steps. And if you were to take a snapshot in time, like the way we kind of see life a lot of times, it doesn't feel like we're growing. But if you were to look back from a year ago or three months ago, from where you were to where you are now, or somebody from the outside, like, a, like an aunt or an uncle or somebody that comes to visit and they talk to you, there's this huge transformative thing that you're going through. And you're different people now. So what I want to talk some more about is how do those challenges that we face, the, the anger, the, you know, the, the issues at home with our parents, the, the failing classes, the getting the tensions, how, how do we use those to change us? You were going to say something. Oh, no, I mean, it's not related, it's not related to school, but it, okay. it, it happened to me yesterday, yeah. and I mean, it actually affected me. Because um, I, I I, when we were not here, I, told, I, I was talking to the class about what happened to my mom, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we had another same problem yesterday, but it was about my stuff now, because I need uh, a letter from my dad telling me, because I don't know, my mom is looking for something for me so I can have my driver's license and all this stuff. But I can't have it without my dad signing it, right? My real dad. Yeah. So yesterday my mom called him and I was hiding and she was in the living room and she thought I, was, I went to sleep but I woke up because I knew she was going to talk to my dad. Every time, she talk, every time she talked to my dad, my dad's always straight in the back. And I heard from my dad telling her, it's like, it's like oh, your son, he, he needs a paper so that I can fix him with his driver's license. And he's like, which son? I don't have no son. And it actually affected me a lot. So I started crying and then I took out the phone out away from me and I was like, wait a moment, you, you're not my, okay, so you're saying that I'm not your son, but you have my, I have your last name, so how is that? Mm -hmm. I said, no, you heard wrong. I was like, no, I know what, I know what you said, so, and I started crying a lot and I knew what to say and I, I, I grabbed my mom's phone and I slammed it on the floor and I was real mad and I think I broke the wall. <laughs> I broke the uh, back door from the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And like I was real bad. I didn't know what to say. Yeah, I was trying to hold that. I couldn't stop crying. This was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. All the so, anger. So now I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get better with it. So, I mean that that is, Raheem described something yeah. similar, right? Yeah. And you know, a lot of us in here probably have gone through something something similar. <laughs> But how do we take that and view it as, because there are really two paths that you can take. You can take a path that says, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow this to affect me emotionally and drag me down. Or you can take a path and a perspective of, no, there's something else out there. It's kind of like what Sabian said, right? It's a little transformation he's gone through. There's something else out, out here, and I'm going to use this as a lesson to shape my life forever, right? So I joined the military because I wanted, because when I was growing up, even through all the struggles, the one thing that I heard from my dad was Americans don't understand or appreciate what they have. People, and my dad's not from this country, he said foreigners when they come to America and they see the freedoms and liberties and all those things, they appreciate it, right? So I always had built inside of me to appreciate it. Even though I grew up on food stamps, I had a tough time, my parents were separated, all these things, similar experiences, I still used something to drive it forward. So it was a perspective to look forward rather than look back or what's happened to me right now. So I would, I would challenge you, where I'm going with this, is I would challenge you to look at it, to try and take that experience and you and internalize it. Remember we talked about Mike Tyson's former yeah. fighting coach, right? It's like that fear that's inside of us. If if we allow that fire to to not be controlled, it can burn everything around us and it'll drag us down. Right? But if we can control it and use it to drive us somewhere, like what, what we've heard from other people, 
now we can start to move in a direction that we're going to make some. And, and you can affect other people in the future who maybe are going through the same thing. And, and so we turn those things into a positive, right? That's where I'm trying to go. How do we turn this into a positive? By not, like, not paying attention to it, or like just for trying to forget. Not, well, not, uh, I mean, can anybody not pay attention to it? I mean, what I'm trying to say, like, you, I know you're still going to remember that thing, that one thing that your dad always, mm -hmm. that you're always going to take that in your mind, that yeah. thing that your dad told you. But I mean, what I'm trying to say is that maybe, like, not try to forget about what he said to you and just focus more on yourself. And, and if you know that you're the um, oldest brother, and you know that you only live with your mom and your little brother. I mean, it's, um, it's like saying that you're the dad in the house now. Because you're the older brother and now. You have to take control. You're going to set an example. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Right? So here's the deal. In the lesson, in, in chapter 6, you guys are going to be doing this, this action wheel. Okay? And, it, and it's all tied into the turbo button. And I've, uh, it's all tied into the turbo button. And I'm going to give you guys next week a journal so you can start writing some of this stuff down. What I want you to do is pay real attention to this action wheel. And what we're, ta what we're talking about right now is step one, this explore phase. What is it that I'm going through? Or what is it that I've gone through in the past, like, like the experiences Sadians had or some, some of the other stories we've heard? What is it that we've experienced and how do we plan for where we want to go in the future? And then, how do I act on that? Because remember, 70% of this is the actions that we take. And then, how do we, as we're taking those actions, reflect on how am I doing? Because we're going to fail again and again and again, right? I'm an adult and I failed in my engagement with Sadie the first time. But I was able to Reflect on it, explore what I needed to do next time I engage with them, make a plan, come back, and, and, and so, since then we've connected. And I've connected with a lot of you guys like that. So I want you to use this, this action wheel to explore some of those things that you're struggling with, come up with a plan on how you're going to overcome them, act on it, and then reflect on it. And just keep cycling back and back and back to that very thing. Any questions for me? All right, gentlemen, great job. Thank you. Your eyes full of hearts. Yeah!